So my beautiful people, check this, check this out. Craziness. So what you just saw there guys is a direct result of putting a Ash Wall you get early on onto a weapon which you can go on actually with many weapons and it's just ridiculous. What it does is it staggers more or less most enemies in the game. Small, medium, large bosses, yes it will stagger them. It will like a soft stagger where it like freezes them on the spot for a split second so you can land the shot again so they can't move off the spot and then you get a heavy stagger where they drop into that basically where you can drop a, a crit shot on them simple as that and today guys I'll explain all how you get the Asher War how you get the weapon I recommend you using this with and a few other bits and bobs which makes this even better how's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe Okay, so the Asher War is called the Glintstone Pebble. This is gotten from a NPC vendor called Sorcerer Roger, and I'll show you where you can locate him in a quick second. Now, I've tried this out on many, many weapons, guys, and in my opinion, it works best for me and what I've got anyway on a Clayman's Magic Harpoon. If you try this out and have a better weapon, please let everybody else know down below. This requires 12 strength, 10 dexterity, and 12 intelligence. I'll show you where you can get this and farm this um, in a quick second too. In regards to what else I'm using with this, I'm using a Glintstone Clan, Twin Sage. At least it increases my intelligence, why not? Armor wise, I just look good, whatever you want to put on there, fine. Uh, talismans I'm using is the Stargazer Heirloom, raises intelligence, the Shard of Alexander, must, obviously. The Dagger Talisman, must. Uh, the Mirka Sorcerer raises uh, stats. Now I've got guides for this. Um, I've got a guide for this and I've got a guide for that. Uh, all I'll link in the video description. I'll showcase you where you get this, this one here, which is very, very important to this uh, today in this video. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure as well that comes from killing someone early on as well. The Stargazer Heirloom. I'm not sure I've got a guide for this down below or on my channel, but if you search YouTube for it, you'll definitely find it easy. Um, in regards to my flask, I'm using the magic training crack tier, temporary boost magic attacks, why not? Strength not crystal tier, uh, boost strength, simple. Now, how this works and what happens is and why it's so potent. Uh, okay, so the, the, the glintstone pebble, you spam it, it just staggers that, that enemy on the spot to a point where 85% of the time they can't even react before they're dead. Now, I'd say medium to larger enemies and bosses, you don't get the, the, the soft stagger, but you will get the the heavy stagger where they drop into that state where you can creep them quite, I'd probably say between five and 10 shots. So if you can land that consecutively, effectively, whatever, for five to 10 shots, guys, they're gonna drop into that mode. They can land that crit shot on them. Now, like I said, I've tried this out on many, many weapons. And for me, all round, it's definitely best on this. Now, we have weapons on the game. This actual war can be applied to, like this dagger right here, which has 140 critical stat value. So when they do drop into that state, we can land a crit shot on them. This is gonna do, or be most efficient in regards to damage. But I think as all round, this doesn't hit as hard with the Glintstone Pebble as this does. So it probably balances it out uh, equally between the two, but I prefer this anyway. It just looks better. Plus this has, that intellect on it as well and it scales with it quite good as well so yeah 
I think all around this is probably the better one. But hey, this is quite good too. You can put the actual wall on this, like I said. Be still beastly. Now, this actual wall actually comes standard on a couple of weapons. I know some people are probably thinking this. Yes, the Glintstone Chris. There's also another one, I believe, called the... Um, is it the Lazuli's Glintstone Sword, which has this on it? The uh, Glintstone Pebble? But what I will say is, and what I noticed, the actual animation to do it is slower than the actual wall. It's just slightly slower. So it's way more efficient, in my opinion, on the uh, with the actual wall, putting on a decent weapon. Now, okay, so what do I show you? What do I need to show you? Uh, so firstly, we'll start with actually the Sorcerer Rogers location because a lot of people probably want that first. So initially for me, anyway, I'm not sure about everybody else. I first came across him within Stonevale Castle. So once you beat the bosses here, you'll come to this grace point before you go on to the second boss, Godric. So yeah, you should come to here. We actually will come to here, guys. You, you will come to here. I think this is the only route you can take to Godric. Either way, you'll know where we are when we're loading. And I'll show you where you can actually find Sorcerer Roger. Like I said, he ain't there for me. Not anymore. I'll, I'll progress way past that. But for earlier players, he should be here. Now, if he ain't actually here when we go to now, he should be at the round table for you. If he ain't at the round table. In fact, he could be at the round table before he comes here. He could be there before he's here. But either way, if he ain't at the round table, come and check here, guys. And just jump down in this big hole. And you'll run up here, guys, and it's in that far right corner here. He should be standing there. Now, if he ain't there, like I said, is it going to let me pull up my map? Probably not. There we go. Check the round table. Um, I'll quickly go there. Now, if he ain't at the round table or at Stonevale Castle, you've probably progressed too far. Now, you may be dead. You may have the barbarians. If you've got the barbarians like I do, come to the twin maiden husks. I don't know where he actually normally stands here, if I'm honest with you, but he's definitely in one of these off rooms. But hey, you can see uh, I got him there. That's where I brought mine from. Simple as that. Okay, so yes, with that out of the way, we now need... Well, I need to show you the location of this talisman, because like I said, when they, they drop into that crit, uh, space where you can land that shot, this is absolutely potent, the dagger talisman. So, where do you get this from? So you want to come up to you guys, Volcano Manor, and you need to basically load in here. This is probably the, the closest checkpoint. So we can do it. Actually, there is another one, but if you ain't got that unlocked, this is definitely the best one. Now, if you don't know how to get to the Temple of Eagly, I'll link a video down below which showcases how you get here. You basically come from the Raya Lucario Academy here, and you have to come down. You get swallowed by one of those big old dirty robot things. And when you die, you actually respawn underneath here. And you make your way around and you eventually come to this place here, guys. But like I said, I got a guide for that down below. Um, I don't want this video going on for like 25 minutes and it would be if I have to show you everything. But yeah, I'll link it below anyway, but most people should have this spot. Yeah, but once you actually get here, if you ain't been here already, you will have to be a boss here. But once you take him out, guys, you'll activate this grace. And you'll want to come up here so you want to pull this lever and not drink why did I press that you have to pull that lever and the lift will come down so jump on it and go up and go up people but yeah this is an absolute brutal combo one of the best I've seen so far OP as heck takes things out makes things easy as you saw by them clips it's ridiculous people so yeah what run around here and come up this way Ignore these. I'm going to have to fight them. Just run past them. Just run past them. There you go. There you go. So come across here, guys. Come round here. Now you will get one of those things that try and swallow you again on this corner. You can avoid her easily, though, to be honest. Just run straight past her. Run around to her right, I'd say. I think left-hand side, you will collar you. Let's jump through this window here. I see slap at the back of my head. Just want to run through here and come this way round. Ignore him. I actually can farm him. You can get that sword. It's absolutely amazing, by the way. Dual wield him. Incredible. Just run past here, guys. Let's 
gonna be another one of those serpent dudes with that sword here. It's also gonna be another one with an amazing flame whip, which I farm for hours. I don't think it drops from him. She's a she is pretty shy because that's a cool looking thing. So then guys, you'll come here. You also only need a stone sword key. I apologize not mentioning that earlier. Yep, come up here, guys. I'm straight up here. Through here. Through this door, yeah. You would need us. I actually forget about that until I just saw something down there. So yes, to get through this uh, door, you'd need one of those keys. So then, once you are here, guys, come here. And you'll see, you need to walk off this way. You need to be careful here. See that platform down there? Just walk gently like that. And there you go. Easy. So I should probably put on my torch. I should probably put on my torch. Okay, so. In here. Simple as this guy, just run up these steps, ignore these enemies. This guy up here is gonna shoot things at you, but you can dodge him. You can be a boss. Take him out if you want, if you don't get out of your way. Then come through here, guys, and you'll see just on your right, on this body here, you'll have the talisman. Grab that, guys, and you're good to go. I'm gonna, oh, we're good. Okay, so, how do you get this weapon? So, you need to come uh, and have access to. Uh, Siofa River. You get access to this by killing Radan. Quest line starts here. With Red Main Castle. You kill Radan. Once you do that, you'll see an amazing cinematic. And then, guys, you'll come to this place here. And you'll make your way down to Nokron. Easy, guys. I mean, I'm sure everyone's seen this already. Now, you will have to process uh, progress so past the Mimic Tier. Uh, so, you'll have to kill the Mimic Tier boss. Once you do, I'll show you the location where you farm this weapon from here. Yeah, so it's a bit of a trek, like I said. The video is going on for it's 10 minutes already, people. I want to try and keep this as short as possible. I do like to actually try and explain to everybody. Because I know not everybody's progressed as far as others. Uh, so while some are already discovered all these spots and his graces, I know many, many people haven't. So you, you make your way to the Mimic Tia. Come past him, pull out your mind. We do have to go all the way down. And the problem is, guys, there's actually no grace where you need to farm these enemies but it's a trick you can do which i'm going to show you i'm going to show you so keep moving along here you do have to be careful you have to we have to park all down here guys we have to park all down here so yep come this way and be very careful here guys very careful just like so and i want to come to this edge let's run straight to the very end and then we drop down here. Now you want to be careful. You don't want to double jump with your horse. Just step off onto this wall, just like so. If you can, I've actually died there doing that. Weirdly. Okay, and there we go. Just jump down. Ain't got to worry about that drop. You should be fine. Then, guys, this one can be a little bit tricky, so be careful. You need to... Actually, I think it's a head that's sticking out somewhere. And you can drop down onto the... the Head if you want, you will take a bit of fall damage. If I go to that balcony where that little stick out there ain't gonna bother me too much, I took some fall damage. Who cares? Okay, so what you want to do when you're here, guys, is just make sure you just come by this 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 area here. Just come by this area here, and we're fine. Now we turn back on ourselves, and you see these are now the enemies that you want to farm. These are them now, they do hit pretty hard. I might actually drop off a weapon and put on something I know I can kill them with. Where's my baby? Uh, there she is. I'm going to have to put on a talisman, which I'm going to take off. Yeah, I'll take a few for now because you ain't going to make no difference. I'm going to have to raise my dexterity to use this properly. And we should be good now. Yes, we are. Okay, so these dudes here, these are the guys that dropped the, uh, the weapon. Now, if you do have the silver scarab, which I'll show you now quickly before I die. <laughs> The silver scab, this one boosts uh, the item discovery. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Raise the arcane. Does the same thing. And you can also get the, the helmet as well. Which I'll link all these below, guys. Don't worry. Don't stress. I should get the helmet for beating the uh, mimic tier boss. So you should have that already. Also, the silver. These guys are going to jump me up. <laughs> get out of it. Also, the this one here. If you got these, pull them on as well. Boost the item discovery. And like I said, because there's no grace point here. This is what you gotta do. And like I said, it is a, a rare drop as well, but it's such an amazing weapon. So you can take some of these out. Now you can take them all out besides 
one or two you want to keep alive. And the reason why is when they kill you guys, this is what you got to do. You say, farm them, let them kill me. And you'll see. This is what you got to do. It'll come up asking you people if you want to far, uh, spawn here. Steak of America. That's where you want to pick. That's where you want to pick. And what happens is it spawns you in right outside of their room. And that's what you can farm these. If you kill them all, you have to go back to the mimic tier um, grace point and you're done. It takes ages. But if you just leave one or two alive, let them kill you, you can then go back and farm them. I'm only going to grab my runes. I ain't farming these guys. They hit hard. But yeah, they're pretty cool guys. And like I said, you get this uh, amazing harpoon from them, which I think a lot of people have just ignored and just not discovered. It's an amazing weapon, like I said, and that's more or less it. Um, I'm just, let me just double check just to make sure. Let me just double check what we got. So yeah, that comes from the Alexander Quest line. I'll link that down below. I'll link the guide for that down below. This I've just put on because uh, just to kill them. Talisman dagger, dagger talisman. Even I've showcased you how you get it. That Stargazer heirloom. I killed an NPC for that earlier because I messed up the mission. I could, it could have been the Melissa. Uh, quest line i killed the dude i messed up and got it this one here is found in the ray lucari academy um area where you just kill a crab i'll link that down below too the weapon i showcased you today simple as that and that is it guys and that is what you gotta do uh and you do some serious serious damage to those bosses do those enemies absolutely ridiculous and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i'll see you on that next one